Hi, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm really glad that you have found me. And before you would pop off somewhere else, please subscribe and hit the uh, bell notification button. It will alert you of new videos and also like and comment because both of those things, um, A, I will respond to comments and B, it will uh, help my videos come up higher in the YouTube algorithm which will allow my videos to be shown to more people. And also you can find me at sheephillherbs.com. I have a blog and also you can sign up for my newsletter over there on my website. So in today's video, I want to talk about something I learned from uh, Gary D. Young, when he, the late Gary D. Young, when I attended one of his uh, Young Living education conferences and it was in Connecticut a number of years ago and it stuck in my mind and um, it has to do with women's health. Uh, so I have heard uh, the late Gary D. Young speak I think on two occasions in person, one in New York, one in Connecticut and this was a number of years ago and um, I've been a member of Young Living a long time and love their essential oils uh, the the time, the glory time, I feel when that company was the best was when he was alive and he was just a purist and um, a dynamic speaker, dynamic person. Anyway, I heard him talk about women and how they could um, be more healing to their breasts. And he said, take your bras off. Don't wear your bra all the time and get out a garden home and work in your garden and move those limp tissues or take a walk. And I just was like, oh my gosh, it was like a light bulb moment for me because I just, I guess intuitively felt like this oppressiveness by wearing this constrictive cloth, especially if you have wire around this tissue that is, there's so many lymph glands and the lymph fluid is a movable fluid and it only moves by your body movement. It does not move like your blood, which pumps by your heart and it keeps moving. It only moves if you move. So even if you are exercising and you're moving, but you have cloth or wire or something constricting this tissue, it's not moving. And the tissue goes all the way up into our armpits and all the way down and all the way around. And any woman who knows who has breastfed knows all of these little ducts get filled with milk and um, you can get them clogged very easily by having your um, your breasts compressed with tight bras and that constriction so so hopefully I'm going to suggest something that you have not thought of for your own um, health with uh, breast cancer being so prevalent for women and um, I'm not telling you in any way that how to heal this but I'm just saying and bringing awareness that there is a spiritual connection of how you feel as a woman your relationship to women and also what you do to your body there's mind body and spirit that connects to everything um, in our you know what comes out as our health so what how are you treating your body are you loving your body are you um, using underwear, underwire, <laughs> underwear that you do not feel in alignment with because you feel like you should or you have to or that you will be more accepted if you do that. And um, at the very least, I would say give yourself a weekend of freedom and definitely do not <laughs> do not wear bras at night when you're sleeping. That is the perfect time to let your, your body be more free. Uh, but walking. You know, I, I think I remember this fear like, oh, if I walk without a bond, I might get saggy or something. Well, you know, strengthen your chest muscles. You can do push-ups. The, the muscles are what keep, keep you up. <laughs> and um, the walking, though, without that constriction is good. And maybe you wear um, something like a forming tank top or a forming um, shirt, but nothing like super tight that you feel constricted like a corset which we don't wear anymore but something that tight you don't want that 
And there are a lot of great new things, designs out there that are a lot more breathable. But the point is we just still want to be let our body and skin and glands breathe even more. And uh, I also want to touch a little bit on this. And it is more of like a, a plead or um, for someone who's considering getting plastic surgery. And I want you to really think on this channel, I really like to talk about the root or who you are inside and that that feeling of goodness or peace or love that you would have for yourself deep down. So anytime we think that we need to fix the outside and we aren't looking inside, we're covering up. We're kind of pressing down, we're covering up. And um, many women feel like the only feeling or solution that they have is to perform surgery on their body to feel better. And to me, that's like just heartbreaking and her horrific to think I'm going to cut my body. And the message you're sending your subconscious mind is, is really a hate message of cutting. When you think of cutting yourself, unless you're having surgery for an emergency, but why would you do it on purpose? So subconsciously, you're sending this part of your body, this message, I don't like you. You aren't good enough. I'm cutting you. And then you're putting something inside that you have no idea if uh, the long-term effects of it, uh, but the spiritual effects and how that affects your children and your children's children, because you haven't embraced who you are. And I just, I really am trying to get this across with um, when I talk about plants and when I talk about natural, that embracing of who you are and uh, who you are is not external. And, you know, some people might hear me say this and be like, oh, I know who I am. But who you are is not external. It's not based upon what you put on and what you cover up or what you pretend or, or, or what you're trying to project. Now, I'm not saying that you don't look good. I think when you feel good, you look good, but I'm asking you to go inside. You know, if you don't like something on the outside, what is going on inside? What is that turmoil inside? And I really, really, truly believe a world that turns in, inward to look at what is inside and heals that, allowing the, the earth to heal, the plants to use their abilities to help us heal, will bring forth a more healed and whole people. So I'm just really passionate about that. And I started way over here talking about um, Gary D. Young and what I learned from him. And then I'm way over here talking about healing of the earth. But it's crazy that I really do see that when you heal yourself, you heal others. And it is, even though it might seem far on the spectrum, it is all together. It's all together. And um, I think before I go, I'm going to ask you to just comment down below. How do you feel about yourself today? Are you happy with yourself? And, I, and I'm not talking about what's happening in the world. How do you feel about you? Your awesomeness, your greatness. You are made from a divine being. You have creative, you have the creator in you, the creative spirit. How are you feeling despite everything else? And that's what it's about. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, thank you for coming to my channel and um, come back for some more videos. I post almost daily, if not every other day or so. And uh, have a great day. Thanks.